Time to get rid of this. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm also sick and as you can see, we are at the eShop and I got the Leventon back on the dyno. So I've been hearing all your guys' feedback, well reading all your guys' feedback and everybody wants to see the full journey. Got my boy Daniel with me, D Butler. He is the tuner for pretty much all of my builds for since I pretty much got into the whole racing scene. And we're just getting more data points on the 11 gen while it's still pretty much stock, but we do have the Honda Carb Flash Pro that's Finally gonna get installed and on top of that we got the spoon drop in filter. So we're gonna do just back-to-back -back tests, go baseline, see what it does with the filter, see what it does with the tune, and then what the carpet tune at that, and then also see what it does with the tune and the drop in filter. And then from there we probably be on another video because I'm gonna drive it around like that, see how it acts on the street and everything. Obviously the clutch is a limiting factor, so we can't really push it more, but we do have other parts from PRL Motorsports so you can install and see what it does uh, before we really start turning it up. So I know Daniel and I are very eager to just go zero to hundred and start making all kinds of tunes, especially with power metrics, get some stage tunes for you guys, because obviously there's a lot of you guys already with the 11 gen. But uh, you know what, we're gonna take it a step at a time as we always do, but we're really gonna start doing showing you guys just, you know, all the behind the scenes of how long it really does take to build a car. And also not only build a car, but you know, come up with tunes for it and just really develop even new products for it, uh, working with manufacturers and just testing things, racing, you know, race, break, repeat, like that, that's a real thing. So yeah, it's not crazy fully built yet, but I do have all the parts, I'm taking you guys' feedback and you know, normally I've always shown and shared kind of the process, but I, I never really showed the whole, you know, extensive in detail down to like getting all the, the tuning and stuff. So uh, yeah, here we are. It's, some of you guys might find it exciting, other you guys might go, okay, let's just get to the point how much power to make, but we'll have the timestamps on the video so you guys, in the description so you guys can just see the horsepower numbers. But this is a Mustang dyno, all-wheel drive dyno, but obviously we're just using front-wheel drive, so yeah. Let's get Now take out the stock air filter and put in the spoon one. So the spoon one, it is a drop-in. That's what it looks like. So I can reuse it, clean it once it gets dirty. See how dirty the stock one is. Really simple, two clips. And as long as you don't break anything, it should be a very easy mod. Get that and I wonder if it'll make turbo noises. I'm pretty sure that's all you guys care about. Oh, damn. Now, you guys have seen this channel. I've been loaning this car out. Different people have been driving it in different places and a bunch of socials are around here. So, time to get rid of this. And uh, let's see if, this should definitely wake it up a little bit based off how dirty that was. Make sure I'm putting it in right. There's a little tab right here. All right, so literally just like, probably took me longer just talking about it and showing you guys the differences than it did actually doing it, so. Let's see if it made any turbo sound differences. 
little louder. I mean, that could also be because the OEM filter was really dirty, but. All right, but what's really important is see if it makes a different power. We got a few bass lines, and then we also did the spoon drop-in filter. Let me see what that did. And then now we are going to install the Carb Legal Flash Pro, which is the Carb Legal Tune, which has, it's a, what was it? Yeah. Two, we have a 240 foot pound tune and a 250 foot pound tune. So you know we're gonna go for the 250 foot pound tune. So we're gonna get that one up installed and then uh, kind of just see how much more gains the Carb Tune does for pretty much a stock 11th gen. So in today's video, we pretty much just wanna see what the difference is with the drop-in filter, and then also see what the car does with a carb legal tune from Honda. And then once that's done, we'll start unboxing and opening up all the other parts that we have waiting to get installed. But I did read your guys' comments, everybody, thank you guys for your feedback, because we are gonna literally just show the entire process now. And I didn't think you guys really wanted to see that, but according to a lot of you guys, you do. So this is gonna be a long journey because uh, things like this take time, but the goal with after we're done with the carb stuff, I'll enjoy the car for a bit and uh, you know, obviously take it around, drive it around, see even how the miles per gallon and everything react to it. We know the clutch is limiting the car from making more power. So before we even put a race fl flash pro on here, we're gonna install a clutch. We got an action clutch. So we'll be doing some R&D with that and uh, you know, also driving it around, just seeing how it acts and make sure it's good give them the, give them our feedback but most importantly it's going to be able to handle more power because when that clutch is finally broken in daniel and i can st finally start working on 11th gen power metric stage tunes for you guys so you know we're gonna we're gonna have the same concept we're gonna have stage ones stage twos with, which is will be with flex fuel and then uh, i'm kind of down to do a yolo tune i don't know if daniel's down no, i'm down to do a yolo tune we're down to do a yolo tune so you hear it first so uh yeah, but first things first, this is a journey, man. This is where it all starts. It starts with a completely stock car, and it starts with an incredible tuner, and it starts with a person who's down to blow their motors. That's this car. And uh, obviously, the entire team, the old Oso Sick team, we yeah, come a long way from the tension stuff. I mean, from me doing everything by myself, as far as like 
filming and you know wrenching on the car and then obviously Daniel tuning now we're in the Oso Sick East shop we've got a team behind us and yeah this should make it a lot easier for us to share our entire journey and uh, share it with you guys and put it online so all right let's get to it this is the carp tune with the stock intake and the spoon filter So there it is, that wraps up our testing just for today on the new 11 Gen 1.5 liter. So based off the results, the drop-in filter, there are some marginal gains mostly seen at the top end, uh, but you know, obviously it's not gonna turn it into a 10 second car, but it also does sound a little bit better, in my opinion, and also it's, you can clean it. So it's, you don't have to keep replacing it like the OEM uh, filters. But other than that, the carb tune did do a pretty significant increase, especially in the mid-range. So I think it's gonna be a lot more fun and uh, now I can just enjoy, enjoy like this for a little bit, see the miles per gallon and just kind of see how everything acts on the street and then uh, bring it back to the Oso Sick eShop because now we have an action clutch to get installed and do some R&D with them, give them our feedback and it should all go well. Uh, so when, if and when it does go well, finally turn this car up and start throwing some bolt-ons and the race flash pro with some real tunes in here to turn it up. But uh, obviously, again, we're gonna do it in steps because we are gonna do stage tunes for Tyrometric. And if you don't know what Tyrometric is, hit up Tyrometric.net. We have a bunch of tunes on there for the 10th gen. And again, Daniel's a tuner. So uh, yeah, it's time to get working and uh, also share everything with you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Remember, life's also sick, live it. Be sure to subscribe, follow us, and Stay tuned. I might start doing giveaways.